Welcome back. I've set up some 75mm aluminium bar in the three jaw chuck and I'm applying some die chem onto it so that I can check that the pitches are correct on some threads that I'm about to machine. I've set the machine up for screw cutting and I've machined three steps with undercuts into the part. I'm using a 60 degree carbide insert to do this. It has quite a fine point so it makes this tool quite suitable for coarse and fine pitch threads. So here, first I'm machining a 1.5mm pitch thread. Um, WD-40 works well with aluminium or paraffin is a, another good alternative. Um, next, on this section I'm machining a 1mm pitch thread and I always make a final spring pass to ensure that the thread has a good finish and is free from any chatter. I also dress the thread with some fine emery paper and scotch bright. After that, I clean the threads out with a toothbrush and isopropanol. As you can see, the threading tool clears the work nicely with generously sized undercuts, but this is not always the case on parts on certain designs. So when manually machining a thread, the machine should be run very carefully um, quite slowly so as not to crash into the shoulder. Some hard hinge machines have useful stops which can kick out the uh, the threading mechanism which is really useful. Um, hobby machines generally are run by hand in any case so it's generally a lower risk for those machines. Uh, my machine has a, a handy jog function which I use for this purpose. The last thread on this little test piece that I'm machining has a, a 0.5mm pitch thread. Um, this one was machined in passes of 0.1mm reduced off the diameter each time or a depth of cut of 0.05 whereas the other two um, I was reducing 0.2 off the diameter so they would have had 0.1mm uh, depth of cut. So all three of the threads were machined with the same gear train on my machine both the 1mm and 0.5mm pitch threads shared the same tumbler gear with the appropriate gearbox lever positions, but the 45 toothed gear was required for the 1.5mm thread. The final thing um, to do after machining a thread, apart from checking that it fits of course, um, is to just make sure that the threads are cleaned up like I said earlier um, and to do that um, can make the difference between a, a thread fitting and not fitting and here's a couple of shots of the of the parts uh, cleaned up with cleaned up chamfers so there you go thanks for watching and bye for now